the best methods and places to hang bandit signs. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips to help you get more leads, more deals, more checks in your hands. Stand by. Let's get it. Hello guys, it's Ty K, the Flip Man. The best places and the best way to place bandit signs, to hang bandit signs, in my opinion. If you watch any number of my videos, you know I'm a strong and a huge component of bandit signs. The reason why, for me, they're the most effective way of getting leads. You do not have to do bandit signs to do this business. Let me make that clear. But if you want the easiest path to, to checks, bandit signs are the way. And I know that doesn't uh, fit everyone for a number of reasons. But the reason that bandit signs work so well is number one, they're cheap. Number two, you're taking advantage of attention, meaning high, high number of eyeballs on a daily basis just in traffic. That's the reason billboards and you know billions are spent on billboards every year is because billboard companies and, and, and companies that want to actually place their message on billboards know they have an opportunity to take advantage of high of, of high traffic counts in intersections, freeways, and so on. So you're virtually doing the same thing at a lot less cost than what it would cost for a billboard, and you can be in a lot more areas versus with a billboard, you know, and the cost, they can be very, very expensive. So you're taking a very old method of marketing and using it to your advantage to make quite a bit of money per transaction. So there's no, no brain surgery about it. And there's no genius behind it. It's just, it's just simplicity. You put a message out there in front of a lot of people and your message is going to get read by a lot of people and some of it is going to fit into what they need, which is to sell a house. And some of those people that are calling, they're gonna be very motivated to sell a house. Ching, ding, ding, ding for you, or bling, bling, bling for you, because that means it's check time. Again, you don't have to do bandit signs, but in my opinion, it's the best method of getting leads. So in this video, I wanna just simply show you how I use bandit signs, and the method I use to hang bandit signs is some of the places that I like to place them. Uh, before I get into just showing the video, because it's only like a minute long, I had a young man to help me put these signs out. And so I just videoed him putting up a sign or whatever. And so basically I just pay him and I drive him around. Uh, so I know a lot of you all starting out, you can't afford to do that, but I've put out bandit signs myself for years and I still do it. Um, I just, this guy needed a little work and I didn't have uh, anything to do, uh, anything to offer him. So I said, let me just drive him around and put on. So I was like, wow, I got a lot more done than when I would normally do because I would have to stop, get out of the car, trying to find a place to park where I don't get hit and all this stuff where I can just drop him off. He pops out and I can, and we can get in the uh, areas that I normally, it'll, it'll be a challenge for me to get there as far because there's no parking. And so I can just drop him off and circle the block or whatever and come back and just he just jumps back in the vehicle so so boom so i'm going to do a lot more of that you know it'll pay for itself i already know that and so but basically what you're going to see in the video is him using the cable ties i don't use stakes i used to nail up them nail them up on wooden poles and i know a lot of cities don't have wooden poles as far as uh power poles light poles however you want to term them so cable ties and what you do with take cable ties is you'll wrap them around uh, stop signs, yield signs, uh, do not enter signs, park, uh, no parking signs. All of these signs are just everywhere, even more so than the light poles. And they're normally positioned in areas that traffic is jammed up to. So uh, you're, you're taking advantage of just that positioning. And, and again, it's just so simple to do versus uh, stakes for sure. Nail them up is really no big deal if you have enough pole. But with these, these are everywhere. So there's no issue with saying, well, we don't have these in our city. These are everywhere. These type of uh, uh, signs that you can place or wrap signs around. Now, get into the legality. All cities, all states, 
all uh, counties are going to have ordinances against banner signs. There's already, there's nothing to think about that. That's everywhere. So you want to know where to place signs. Well, in most cases, most people want to place signs where other signs don't exist so they can, I guess, corner that area. The problem with that is banner signs are nothing new. In most cases, uh, people that have been using them in, in your market for a while, they've been using the signs. They already know where they can get away with signs. So for you, you could do the same thing, but you're going to pick it back off where they've already played. Now you can test in areas where they don't exist. You can do that, you know, because it's all about how long your signs are going to stay up. So uh, what I always tell my students, just go where signs already exist in your market and you do the same. Well, there's, there's four signs on that poll. Okay, well, number one, you're not going to probably put them on polls anyway if you follow my instructions. But even if you were, McDonald's sells hamburgers, Burger King sells hamburgers, Wendy's, Hardee's, in and out Jack in the Box, you get the picture. But all of them make money. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, they'll call your number and they'll call everyone. So you ask, you just make sure you pick up your phone as soon as you can or you call them back as soon as you can and you'll, you'll do your share of deals. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the video and check my man out here. So right here, you're seeing him uh, place the cable ties through the holes. What I do, I punch four holes in for two cable ties that allows it to stay. Sometimes they'll still slide down because I guess the uh, plastic, the, the, the plastic cable ties, they'll stretch because of heat or cold weather, or whatever situation. But uh, what you're gonna see here now is uh, him hanging the actual sign and just pulling it through, boom, just pull it tight. And uh, there you go. So you'll also see that this is right off a of freeway exit. This is not a busy exit, exit on a continuous basis. It's uh, off an exit where there's a large uh, uh, manufacturer. And so it goes in shifts as far as the traffic. But I wanted to do it here so I could, you know, we wouldn't have to worry about a lot of traffic with people seeing what we were doing. So boom, there's a sign. I have it hidden there, flipmanpodcast.com if you want to check out my podcast. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that you saw Hey, boom, that's how it goes. I didn't want to put my phone there out there. People are so crazy, man. You won't believe some of the stuff I get. So I hit it with my logo at flipmanpodcast.com, which you can get on Android and Apple. So boom, so that's my method of putting out bandit signs and where I place them. So you need to just be, I'm going to stop the screen sharing here. Just be creative on where you're going to uh, place your signs. Uh, and think outside of the box. You know, if they're not getting any life out of them, then you're not going to be successful at getting calls. You know, you need to get weeks out of your signs. And, you know, putting up 25 signs, you may be fortunate to get a deal. But once you get over the 100 or 150 signs out, and uh, hopefully 75% of those are still up, your, call search, your, your phone should consistently start to ring. So banding signs, you know, that's my thing. Uh, it is what it is, you know, when dealing with houses. Uh, there are the methods that I say you don't have to do banded signs, but in my opinion, it's the best me method of uh, getting leads in your pipeline, which turns into actual deals. So don't forget about my Flippinards on Thursdays. You can go to flippinard.com where I live right on YouTube. You can take advantage of asking me questions about real estate investment, mainly wholesaling, whether it's commercial or a residential. If you have a deal, I'll analyze that deal. Now, again, my podcast, you can access on iTunes if you have an Apple iPhone or a tablet. Just go there and do a search for the Flipman. Android, you can get, download the app called Stitcher and just do a search for the Flipman. And boom, there you are, my podcast. I'm trying to get as many of my videos here off of YouTube up there. So, and if you have trouble, then just go to flipmanpodcast.com. Don't forget about the 200 plus videos right here on YouTube that you can access, Turn uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications. I appreciate you watching this particular video. Please share it, like it, comment, and I'll see you on the flip side.